What's up guys? So we're going to show you a clear example of how you should not text a girl you're talking to. So I hope you guys are ready for some extra cringe. Alright, so this interaction was submitted to me by one of my female fans, and they do exist. Uh, so she sent me this and she was like, hey, do you think there's something weird about this guy? And I'm like, yes. Let's take a look at the interaction. So apparently this is a really, really good looking guy that she met on a dating app. And the reason she's giving him this much slack is because apparently he's really fucking hot, but he's giving her the heebie-jeebies. So let's take a look at this. So he messages her, hey, she's like, hey, you, what's up? Wish you were here. Now, right away, that is a bad thing to say, right? It's like, oh my God, I'm missing you. Now, look, if you want to send this to your girlfriend or your mom, that's fine. But you're going to send this to a girl that you haven't even met yet? Like, wish you were here? Well, why do you wish she was there so bad? And it just shows that you have a complete lack of abundance and you're kind of needy. Oh, yeah, question mark. And girls will do this all the time, too. When you say some dumb shit, they'll kind of test you. I'll be like, oh, yeah, right? And they want to see if you're going to backtrack or you're going to, like, basically bury your head further. Yep, all I thought about is watching you looking up at me. So I guess he's talking about... Uh, her sucking his dick or something or maybe him eating her out but yeah he's just again it's kind of cringe she's like that bad huh that good lol I don't think you actually know that we haven't met yeah, you never want to be sold on a girl especially when you haven't met yeah but I'm a good judge I think you think the same so how are you have going to make up that you haven't seen me yet yeah like you don't want to start chasing a girl either like he's chasing her so hard already I don't believe I'm fault to obligate make him up I like thinking you are. How do you feel? Uh, well, keep thinking. I feel much better. Thank you. Just get, getting things back in order around here. So here he says, so I want to see you tomorrow. Again, what a needy way to go for the meetup, right? Like, oh, we should grab a drink tomorrow. That's fine, right? Even better, we should grab a drink sometime soon. You soft close and then you hard close. But like, please, I really want to see you tomorrow. I need you. Uh, she's like, how have you been? So she's going sideways. Good, just busy, a lot of work. You, you, question mark, just catching up. So I met anyone else. Also not a good, don't ask a girl that you don't know yet about other guys, right? Because it just comes off that you're just like, you're really paranoid. You're like, oh my God, I'm insecure. Because if you're the shit, then you would just, you wouldn't even care about the other guys because you would just assume that you're the best option, right? Not, that's not a text I would ever send. So you meet anyone else, right? No, I've been sick. What do you mean off Tinder in general, in general? Oh yeah, I made a few brief connections, couple friends, right? So she's, you know, she's being low key and girls will say that what, what this really stands for is, yeah, I banged a few guys. Uh, well, I have to be honest, I'm new, t I'm new to me that you're not more interested and I don't like hearing about others. Motherfucker, you asked her. Like, <laughs> like you want her to just say, oh no, I've just been sitting around thinking about you, Mr. Random Tinder Stranger, right? So again, this just comes off very low value. Like this guy apparently is really good looking, but he's just acting very low value, which I see time and time again. Well, well, I did have a life before you and you did ask, sorry, I'm not used to chasing. Doesn't even make sense. Like you expect a girl that you have never even met yet off Tinder to be exclusive to you. Like you don't think every single one of these girls is talking to dozens and dozens of other guys. That is literally pure delusion and insanity. She's like, but I can keep details of people out if it makes you uncomfortable. Haha, <laughs> of course. And not being weird, but not used to not being the one you're excited about. Not like the honesty. So yeah, this guy is clearly like needy as fuck, which is a humongous turn off for girls. Like you literally would have been better off just messaging her, hey you. She's like, hey, uh, let's grab a drink this weekend. That would have been better than whatever the fuck he's doing. So here she says, I guess I just don't get into the chasing games, to be honest. I'm very much me. Either we like each other and keep engaging or we don't. So no need to pursue me just to get to know me. I, I find when someone is all excited about a potential partner like you are describing it's usually infatuation with a ton of projection very true uh they're not actually learning who you are they're assuming who you are yep for sure well i match with multiple people on your situation i haven't dropped them right away so for me to be open to your deal is so rare i can't even say i'm not saying pursue me but if i'm sharing you then i like some interest oh so the context here is this chick is actually married but she has an open marriage right so she, she still gets to hook up with other guys uh so <laughs> this is so funny like how much interest can you expect if you have never met the girl i'm interested in getting to know you we could be fantastic together or just savvy want things if you're looking for an easy lay from someone factually with you idea of you i'm not your girl i can get easy whenever i want it's always been easy i'm attractive very charming a person and successful so it's never been hard but in the situation like you be the one that has your attention yeah like you never want to logically explain to the girl why you're attractive like i don't care if you're rich this is the mistake russian fit makes all the time they try to logic their way into attraction but you cannot logic your one into attraction all you can do is actually turn the girl off when you start logically explaining to her why you're the catch so here she says, I do understand what you're saying. You want to be the guy. You're very attractive. Yes, you're very successful. You do kind of behave like I owe you something or I should be 
honored that you're even considering me. I'm sure you're a great partner and someone will be lucky to have you as a partner. It just kind of seems like you're saying you're interested against your better judgment. It isn't very flattering. There's lots of amazing things about me too. Sorry, you're right. And what I mean is I'm interesting in spite. What I mean is that it's special for you. This guy's grammar is atrocious. Sorry, I know it didn't sound great, but I mean this outside of you. I never do this. That's what I mean. Uh, he would never do this. I love when guys say that. She's like, thank you. He's like, just being honest. Sorry to come off that way, but this is all new to me is what I mean. His grammar is atrocious, but yeah, so now he's backtracking. He's apologizing, right? If you are going to be super needy, don't fucking apologize for it. That makes it even worse, right? And again, the big issue here is the guy's like basically positioning himself as the low value male. And I have no reason not to believe that he's not actually really attractive and successful. That could definitely very well be the case. In the red pill, they think, oh, when you become a high value guy, you know, this dating stuff takes care of itself. I know plenty of high value guys who are extremely unattractive because they're so needy and they act so low value, they need to constantly justify why they're the catch, why they're the shit, and they need to constantly do the shit, which is a massive, massive turn off for girls. So with texting, if the girl, you know, is not interested, you're not gonna make her very interested just through text game. Maybe once in a while, but you're not gonna get a drastic difference. However, you can take a girl who's very interested and make her not interested at all in a span of one screenshot just by acting like a low value loser. All right, hope you guys found this video valuable. Show us that you have better text game than this guy by smashing the like button, hit subscribe, click the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.